Good evening, dear learners. I am Dr. Satish Vishwambar Lakde and I am working as an assistant professor of communication skills in the Department of Humanities and Sciences, Walchand Institute of Technology, Sholapur. And I welcome you all for this session on SWOT analysis, learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to do SWOT analysis for personal and professional effectiveness and success. So this is the learning outcome. Now we proceed to the next slide. Now here is a question for you to think over. What is SWOT analysis? So what does SWOT stand for? I would request you to pause this video for some time and write the answer for this question in your course journal and then you can resume the video. Welcome back. Now here's the answer for the question what is SWOT analysis? So S stands for strengths, W stands for weaknesses, O stands for opportunities and T stands for threats. As you can see on the slide, strengths and opportunities are positive whereas weaknesses and threats are negative. On the other hand, strengths and weaknesses are internal characteristics of a person or an organization and opportunities and threats are external elements in the environment. So this is the answer for the question what is SWOT analysis. Now let us move to the next slide. What is SWOT analysis? So once again we can discuss this particular question in detail. SWOT analysis or SWOT matrix is a strategic planning technique used to help a person or an organization identify strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats for personal and organizational or business effectiveness and success. It is intended to specify the objectives of a person, a business venture or a project and identify the internal strengths and weaknesses and external opportunities and threats that are favorable and unfavorable for achieving those objectives. A SWOT analysis is often used to ask and answer questions to generate meaningful information for each category and identify the competitive advantage and disadvantage. Strengths and weaknesses are internally related while opportunities and threats exist in the external environment. So this is a short description of SWOT analysis. Having understood this, now let us move to the next slide. So let us understand what strengths are. As you can see on the slide, strengths are positive internal characteristics of a person, a business or an organization or a project that give an advantage over others. Now weaknesses. Weaknesses are negative internal characteristics of a person, an organization or a project that place a person, an organization or a project at a disadvantage relative to others. Now the opportunities. Opportunities are positive external elements in the environment that a person an organization or a project could exploit to his or its advantage. Threats. Threats are negative external elements in the environment that could cause trouble for a person, an organization or a project. So this was about SWOT analysis in detail. Now let us understand why we need to do SWOT analysis. Organizations or individuals do SWOT analysis to identify internal strengths and use them for personal or organizational success. To identify internal weaknesses and overcome them for personal and organizational effectiveness. To identify external opportunities for personal and organizational growth and expansion. SWOT analysis is also done to identify 
external threats for individuals or organizations or projects for damage control or for taking precautionary measures to formulate strategy, policy, plan for great results. SWOT analysis is done to build brand image and achieve success unique to an individual or an organization. So this is the SWOT matrix. So let us revise SWOT analysis once again. As you can see on the slide, strengths are positive internal characteristics which help for success and growth. On the other hand, weaknesses are negative and internal characteristics of a person or an organization which are detrimental for progress and success. Opportunities on the other hand are positive and are external elements in the environment which help an organization or an individual to grow and expand. Threats are negative and external elements in the environment which can do serious damage to a person or an organization. So this is all about SWOT analysis and SWOT matrix. Now the use. A SWOT analysis can be used to explore new solutions to problems, decision making or decide on direction or action that will be most effective. SWOT analysis can also be used for goal setting or identify barriers that will limit objectives or goals, reveal possibilities and limitations for change, to revise plans to best navigate or transform persons, systems, communities and organizations, for brainstorming on an important topic or an issue, to enhance credibility of interpretation during presentation to leaders, team members or key supporters. Now, these are some of the examples of strengths in relation to a person or an organization. So positive thinking, knowledge or education, rich work experience, technical skills in a specific field, communication skills, leadership, interpersonal skills, work culture, soft skills, creativity, adaptability, team player, problem solving, skilled human resource, flexibility, perseverance, time management, sincerity, etc. can be strengths for an organization or an individual. As you can see here, an excellent work culture can definitely be a strength of an organization and adaptability or creativity can definitely be a strength for an organization or an individual. Examples of weaknesses, negative thinking, education not in related field or at a lower level, lack of desired work experience, lack of technical knowledge, skills in a specific field, lack of communication skills, lack of leadership skills, lack of interpersonal skills, lack of presentation skills, bad time management, being too sensitive, being too much of a perfectionist, procrastination that is postponing the things, public speaking, unskilled human resource, low confidence, anger. So these were some of the examples of weaknesses. Now some examples of opportunities for a person or an organization. Growth avenues and globalization in your field of choice. Technical advances in your field of work. Pursuing a degree, diploma, certificate courses from Indian or foreign universities. Friends needing your kind of skills. A new job or an organization. Chance for advancement in your field, geographical location, strong network, a new neighborhood or a new city or a new country. Emerging markets can definitely be an opportunity. A resourceful friend, teacher, mentor definitely can prove to be a wonderful opportunity. Internet and self-help books. So these are all different examples of opportunities. Now examples of threats. Downsizing in your chosen field or organization, economic recession or off trends in your field of work, tough competition from young competitors with superior skills, experience and knowledge, limited advancement in your field, no recruitment by government or companies, social networking sites can definitely be a threat for youngsters who are involved in 
एंटी सोशल एक्टिविटीज़ मोबाइल फोन्स हाई स्पीड मोटरसाइकल्स फ्रेंड्स हैविंग बैड हैबिट्स एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विदाउट सेफ वर्किंग एनवायरमेंट और एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बेस्ड ऑन अनएथिकल वर्क कल्चर सो दिस कैन बी ऑल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ थ्रेट्स दिस इज द शॉर्ट मैट्रिक्स नाउ यू कैन डेफिनेटली राइट यूर स्ट्रेंथ्स वीकनेसेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड थ्रेट्स यूर and then you can formulate various strategies like uh, opportunity strength strategies you can use strengths to take advantage of opportunities likewise you can uh, form opportunity weakness strategies you can overcome weaknesses by taking advantage of opportunities then threat strength strategies you can use strengths to avoid threats and uh, threat weakness strategies you can definitely minimize weaknesses and avoid threats so this is how you can use the sort matrix for forming various strategies for personal and organizational success now advantages of sort analysis it builds individuals or organization strengths reverse or overcome individuals or organizations weaknesses maximize response to opportunities overcome or eliminate threats it helps in identifying core competencies of an individual or organization it helps in setting of objectives for strategic planning it helps in knowing past present and future so that by using past and current data future plans can be chalked out thus it is a source of information for strategic planning for personal and professional effectiveness and success these are the references for this particular work and i wish you a very happy learning thank you so much